Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and let's take a look at how the Unity short Don't Get Too Close, It's Dark Inside was made. So, realistically, there isn't a lot to that little sequence at all. It may look it, but there really, really isn't. It's simply a terrain with some grass, with some trees, with this shed that I got from the asset store. And inside, everything is just kind of, you know, all rotten, broken inside. And then there's also this demon right here. Obviously, that being, you know, don't get too close. It's dark inside. Well, it's demon. Uh, then the final thing is actually the image effects, which is the post-processing. And obviously, that is what gives it the atmosphere and effect of, well, you can see right there. Uh, so you can see here all the settings I have. I've gone quite high with the ambient occlusion. Um, maybe unnecessarily high. A little bit of bloom going on there. Color grading is where this really happens because the saturation is set to zero. With saturation, you can see what it would look like. Contrast is also maxed out. If we had no contrast, then yeah, it wouldn't be quite so good. So it is having those like that, which gives it that effect. There is also a light in here, although the idea is it's dark inside. Well, you have to have a little bit of light so we can see what's going on. I wanted to go for a kind of old timey look with this one, and that's why the whole black and white thing occurs. And generally, the reason I created this is because it's kind of maybe a little follower or rather a prequel to what's coming out pretty soon, because I'm going to have another little video related to this little sentence. And yeah, it's, it's just kind of cool the way everything is constructed. The door itself uh, is just simply a hinge which rotates and a creaky door sound plays as we open the door. Heard right there. And if I go into this script right here, this final sequence script I've written, all this is is just a quick little script which runs everything. Now, people always ask me, why don't I use Cinemachine? Why don't I use Timeline? I don't actually like these things. I feel they don't give me enough control. I feel they're lazy ways of creating things because ultimately using those, the machine is just creating your game for you. You're not creating it yourself. And I feel you don't learn as much. Now, it really isn't that difficult to create a few variables, create a quick sequence to actually control everything within the game. And as I said, everything there is done via script. So when we see that door creak open, that is done at just the right time based on this coroutine right here. So we can see that we'll wait, we set the text, we uh, turn everything off, then it plays everything. So the animator is set enabled. And then after 15 seconds, it plays the door. Then after that, we fade out after another 15 seconds. That really is how easy it is. It's just a couple of lines of code for that entire sequence. It didn't take me very long to make this at all because the key thing to it was this shed here and that was freely available on the asset store. It is free. If you go to the asset store and search shed and then click free, you'll likely come across this. Uh, everything else I've used in things like tutorials and whatever else, so it's just kind of imported into this project and then just built together in about 90 minutes, I think I did this. Uh, so yeah. That's how that little Unity short was made. A couple of animations for the camera, for the door, terrain, trees, bit of post-processing, all done. It really is as simple as that. Uh, so I hope that's uh, inspired you to some degree, guys, and I hope that you could create maybe one of these Unity shorts as well. If anyone's created one of these 30 to 40 second shorts, let me know, I'd love to see. So guys, thank you very much for watching.